Christmas is coming. I've got so much work to do. What am I going to do? How am I going to make all these presents? I'm starting to freak out, man, just a little bit. Oh, boy. Okay, Santa. Just take a deep breath. Ooh. Okay. All right. I can do this. I've been doing this for hundreds of years. I can do it again this year. Whew. Happy holidays, everyone. Testing, testing, one, one, two, three, one, two, three, testing. I think this is all on. Hey, everybody, how's it going? So if you don't know, I've been doing live streams on Twitch. I'm trying to uh, get to affiliate, they call it, so that I can use the Adobe Character Animator add-ons, which will let the audience trigger the puppet. And I've talked to some people who are using them and gotten different responses and stuff, but I just want to sink my teeth into it myself. So... I'm currently working on Pittsburgh Zombie Plan, which is the animated short I have been working on for a while now. I'm working on Pittsburgh Zombie Plan, which means I'm going to be putting together Adobe Character Animator puppets for a while now in those streams at night. So I've, I've made 20 puppets, maybe. If you have questions, I might be able to answer you. I'm getting pretty experienced and I'm getting pretty deep into how these things uh, work and how to set up different behaviors or if you want to just hang out and teach me something that would be awesome um, You'll you'll often see me uh, fumbling during the streams trying to learn something new So having other experts around is also cool. It could be fun But I recorded this video on how to set up mouth shapes in Adobe Illustrator and then even get uh, different mouth shapes for different emotions and to get that whole thing working properly in Adobe character animator so this is William Kremen. He's my newscaster. And if we if we look at him, yeah, he's got angry and sad and 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 happy, right? And his mouth changes. It's working pretty good, but I got it to work a little bit better and I kind of simplified the process of how they get set up, I guess. I think. I think it's better. I think it's better, but I'm going to show you uh, this character and another character inside of Adobe Illustrator and show you how I set up the mouth shapes and just talk even a little bit about why I made certain choices and some of the caveats and gotchas and things that you might encounter if you're going to use Adobe Illustrator to make your character. So let's open up Jesus. All right, this is Jesus. He's going to be in episode one. And Jesus also has his emotional state set up, so if he's looking forward, at least. I, I, I broke his eyes somehow. My camera's just messing up. I've got my camera at a weird angle so that I can stand sometimes. So, here we go. He's getting all happy. He's getting sad. And you'll see... how the mouth behaves when I, when I stretch and compress my mouth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we can crank that up as high as we like. Maybe make it a little more obvious what's happening here. Boom. Mm -hmm. And that's happening for all the emotional states. So what I've done with this guy, is if I go into the rig panel, I just now have a mouth. The mouth here is tagged as mouth, right? And then I've got all of my shapes nested under, so I have like a neutral mouth, and then nested under that is happy, angry, and neutral. Happy, angry, neutral for ah, and so on and so forth. At least where I need it. Um, I think, yeah, I did it for all of them pretty much here. All right, so let's hop into Illustrator here and take a look at this setup. It kind of mirrors what you saw in Character Animator. You have your mouth here, plus mouth, and then neutral has the happy, angry, and neutral. Now, one of the things you have to keep in mind in Illustrator is that paths kind of get smushed together under the thing, under the layer that they're under. So if I had this neutral group, and here I just had a path. Uh, it would basically represent that that path would be the artwork for neutral. 
And so what I had to do, even if I only have one path under here, one you know vector path, I have to go and I grab it and I say um, collect a new layer. And then I name that as my shape. So now this registers as an actual object inside of Character Animator. If you don't do that, it's not going to show up the way you expect it to, and you're going to have a lot of problems. But my basic structure here is to have head, and then I have my right profile, my left profile, my front. Under front, I have the mouth, and the mouth has the neutral, angry, uh, and happy. Or I'm sorry, the mouth has the neutral, the ah, the e, all the mouth shapes that you need. And each one of those has the emotion. So a slightly different take uh, for each emotion. And let me just collapse this for a second so you can see a little better what I'm talking about. There you go. So there's happy. There is sad or angry. And then the neutral mouth. Cool. So that is pretty much that. Um, what I've done here in Illustrator is I created a base mouth. And my base mouth has my tongue, it has my uh, inner mouth background, my upper teeth, and my lower teeth. And I end up duplicating this a lot and then just creating shapes off of that. All right. So it's all path based, which means when I go to create my new shape, I can just grab these uh, tangents and drag them around to create my my new shape. I can add or replace as needed. So I can just bring these up here to make a happy mouth, bring his teeth up like that, so on and so forth. And this is nice. And the other reason this is good is because you generally, as a general, general rule, nothing's hard and fast around here, you want to keep the teeth where they are, the top teeth, all the time. Because what happens when you talk is your jaw moves. Ong, 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 ong. Your teeth up top. Ong, 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 ong. Stay right where they are. And if you have them floating around too much, it just tends to look really, really weird. So back here in Character Animator, all you have to do then is tag mouth as mouth. Go ahead and tag each of these. Make sure if you named everything properly, it should just work. So I have my neutral, my ah, my e, so on and so forth. And then these don't need to be tagged as a mouth shape. These are simply here as replacement graphics uh, that will be swapped out for each emotion. So then I create over here on the left hand side a swap set. I call that swap set emotion. And then I create a happy, a sad, an angry, and my default. And then I'll just go through here, find all my happies, and drop them into the happy. Find all my angries and drop them into the angry. And I use the angry for sad as well. Uh, save time, and it's about the same. And then neutrals. Uh, I'll do the same thing with that. Set the neutral or the default emotion to default by clicking on this. Boom, and you'll see it turns like... It becomes filled in. It's a filled in hand pressing a button now. And that is about it. Uh, you're all good to go. Um, you can then come in here and just mess with this uh, parameter under the face that is mouth strength. And you can get more and more crazy mouth. So let's just finish off here by opening uh, another experiment I did last night. Which is Santa Claus. It's kind of a freaky Santa Claus. My kids told me it's a freaky Santa Claus. And you see, he's got, wow, really broad. I got to look at the camera. He's got really broad mouth shapes here. Ah, so I can go crazy. I can, yeah. Ho, ho, ho. I can just yell it out if I want to. And I just put some little draggers on him with that IK arm. And then the beard is set up like a jaw. So if I find beard beard is here and this took me a second to learn this so I'll make sure I, I'm very clear about this one so here's beard beard has a handle which I moved here towards the top I then created a stick across the bottom here to dictate 
where I want the primary jaw movement to start happening. And then I mark that stick as jaw. Then you're gonna wanna go all the way up to the head and add a new behavior and you're gonna add the nutcracker jaw behavior and that should be all you need. It's gonna have these parameters then that you can mess with how much um, nutcracker jaw you get. So here I've got everything set pretty intensely because uh, I just wanna really get big mouth shapes. And then I'm just letting the, I'm letting the parallax strength do a lot of the work uh, for like, you know, showing some sort of head turning. Yeah. And then I can actually switch to a happy mouth and everything just works as you would expect. Cool. That's it, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Uh, please come by. Check out one of my Twitch streams. I, I also stream on YouTube, but I am trying to build up my presence on Twitch. You can find me on there. Media Resonate. I'm going to put a link below. I really appreciate it if you can come and just hit that follow button. If you have any questions, I tend to be streaming every night. I am in uh, the, on the East Coast of the United States, and I tend to stream at 9 o'clock. Uh, that's Eastern San Standard Time. I think it's like 3 a.m. GMT or whatever that is. Uh, so come check that out. It's usually a pretty good time. Ask questions. Uh, help me out by like sharing your knowledge with me. I do have some cool things coming up. If I can get the interactivity, especially we, uh, I want to do like a lot of interactive streams where you're controlling the puppets and I'm thinking something along the lines of like a D and D campaign. So uh, stay tuned for that. It should be pretty cool. And if you're interested in, um, in interacting in any of this in any way, uh, just drop me a message and we can talk about that as well. All right, cool. Thanks again for joining me and we'll catch you next time.